Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making slow cooker beef noodles. Oh, we'll have a whole lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cook and Chris's Dishes with... Aunt Lou! And a good old boy, and today we're going to cook up another dish from recipes that crock.com brought to you by... As good as it gets, recipes at crock.com and everybody else that is involved in all good media I'll see, but that's just because, you know. Including Aunt Lou. Including Aunt Lou. That's her, by the that's way. Me. Um, we're gonna make a very long cooking recipe. It's like seriously, this is a long cooking recipe. This is one of those hey, hey, Mikey. rewarded recipes. Rewarded? Um, is this a long cooking recipe? Does it take a long time? Eh, yeah, a oh, long okay. time. So a lot I of times. Sure. We'll promote recipes on here that may take a while to cook. Sometimes we're doing fast cooking recipes. Mm -hmm. This is not one of those. But let me tell you why. It's worth we it. We want you to do this because, say it again, just like that. It's worth it. Yes. Y'all like beef and noodles? I remember when my mama would cook beef and noodles and she would cook them all day. And let me tell you something. They were worth it. <laughs> just like this one is right now, this is going to take a long time to cook. And that is because we're going to use some thick cuts of beef with this. Mm -hmm. You can do it quicker if you want to, but I don't think you want to. Well, you want to, if you are if you are short on time and you need to cook this on high, you're going to want to buy a very tender cut roast. Yeah, like a filet. Because with beef in the crock pot, you can take a not so tender, um, cheaper cut of meat, put it in a crock pot, let it go, 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 low and slow all day long, and it's going to turn it into melt in your mouth, fall apart awesomeness. But if you have, um, if you put it on high, then it's not going to give you that tender result. That yeah, it's going to cook it for sure. Yeah, and I mean, it'll still taste good, but it's just not going to be as yeah. tender. And with beef and noodles, you want something that's going to like, well, just like I said, it's going to melt in your mouth. You mm -hmm. want to be able to chew up the meat with the noodles and everything and just enjoy it and not go, wow, this, this meat's taking a while to get through. <laughs> We're not making jerky here, y'all. This is why this is a low and slow, very mm -hmm. long cooking, very much worth the recipe. Well, and this would be great, like, if you're going to, because there's two parts to this. So you're going to need to cook your roast first. And this would be something that you could put on before you go to work mm -hmm. and let it do low and slow all day long while you're gone at work. And then you can, when you get home, you can just do the couple of steps at the end and then let it cook for the extra time yep. and have dinner ready in about a, what, hour and a half? Something like that, yeah. And hour, so, hour and a half. And so it would be a great, like, weeknight um, or even a Sunday um, dinner, like, after church kind of thing. Yeah, when like, I, when I started this Saturday recipe, night. I started it last night so that we mm -hmm. would have something for you because... Well, otherwise, we'd be taped until about midnight tonight doing this. And I want to so, yeah, get home before then. Sunday dinner, you put this on the night before, before you go to bed. When you get up, go to church, come back, however y'all do it, mm -hmm. and you can have a super, super good roast. I'm telling you, everybody's going to be like, dang, Mom, dang, Dad, that was really good. And what you need? Well, ingredients. And what we have for the ingredients is... Now, if you look here with this one, what you have here with this one is I've got two pieces of meat in here, and that's because you want a three-pound roast, just like this, only, well, this has been cut in half because our store up the road, they have about pound and a half size roasts, where if you go to some other stores, well, let me put it this way. If you go to Texas, you can get a five, six, seven-pound <laughs> chuck roast. Here in Indiana, we're not scared of the beef, but, you know, we like our smaller cuts. So I just grabbed two of the smaller roasts, so right there is about three pounds. And to that, I'm going to add one can of French onion soup. And I'm going to add one can of beef consomme. What is beef consomme? Just think of it as well-concentrated beef broth. It's going to give it a really mm -hmm. strong, beefy flavor. That's all you got to do with that. I'm going to move those So this seriously around. would be a super simple recipe to throw in before you go to work. Yeah. And like, I mean, that's... Even meat, meat. two soups, and that's it. Who, and who is really slow at recipe prep, I could do this before if I had to leave the house for work. Now, if we're going to set this aside, we're going to set it on low for 8 to 10 hours. The longer you go, the better it is. Mm -hmm. But 8 hours is good, 10 hours is better. Now, so that we could speed things up for y'all, I did one for about 9 hours starting it last night, and it is gorgeous. Take a Ready? look. Dun, dun, that, dun. that 
is after about nine hours cooking. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to grab a fork real quick and show you. See if I make a liar out of me. Watch what happens when I put my fork through this piece of meat that's been cooking for about nine hours. Look at that. It just falls. Yummy. I mean, that. I, I'm going to stop because I, well, it's kind of foggy. All right. <laughs> but that fork goes right through that meat. And I'll yeah. show you here in just a second because the next step after you've cooked this is I'm going to grab a pair of tongs and a spatula. I was going to say, you might possibly want a, a scoop shovel. Of course, I use the big tools around here. Hey, wait, it's a dead trick. You gotta make sure they work. They work. Oh, I thought you, when you said big tool, you were talking about yourself. You're mean, <laughs> you're mean. Slide that right up there like that. Ooh, and I'm gonna take and transfer this into a bowl just to get it out of the way because Lou is get gonna take over the next step. And that is. Okay, so now we're gonna take four cups of broth and add it into what the roast was cooking in. Yes, yeah, so that's all the juices of the roast with your beef consomme and your soup. And this is already pre-measured because yes. it's 32 ounces. Which is four cups. Yep. Whoop, 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 come on. You need like a vent to... No, it is fine. Oh, Gordy. No? Oh, okay. But if you do it right at the very end... It'll fart. You get right the now. fart sound. I'll, I'll let it drain so that Mikey can get his fart sound. Is that how am I supposed to do this? You're the master farter, so. <laughs> ah, ooh, that sounded bad. <laughs> All right, and that's it. Now we're gonna crank this up on high on the stove top feature. If you Did don't you have a there? slow cooker that has the stove top feature, you can always transfer it and, and bring it to a boil. But this mm -hmm. is really good in a Ninja. We we're also using the Cuisinart. But an all-in-one works really, really good with this. But we just want to bring that to a boil. Oh, so and while we're doing that, I'm going to show you the magic of this if you want to get a good shot of this. Only if I get a bite of that. I'm going to do... You could put this also in a standalone mixer. works well, too. But so that we didn't have any more appliances up on our little counter, I'm just going to do this. Look at that meat. That is nine hours cooked low oh and slow. This is mine. And even with that connective tissue there, it just mm -hmm. absolutely, I am barely pulling on this meat and it falls, it falls apart. <laughs> it falls apart. Fools? It is super tender. And I just, I just want to shred this up as good as I can so that everybody gets a good piece of meat along with those noodles. Mm. But that is, how is it? Mm. How's it taste? Amazing. She's going, mm, mm. <laughs> So that evidently must be good. But that is all you do. And then my house by rules, I can do this too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That, dude, that completely falls apart in your mouth. Melt in your mouth. And that's after cooking it for the nine hours. We're going to reintroduce it now that we've shredded it. When that comes to a boil, and that's only going to break it down further. It's going to push more flavor into that meat along with the noodles that we're going to show you in three, two, one. And now we've got our broth along with those two soups and all the juices that the meat cooked in in a rolling boil. Look at that. Woo! Rolling boil. Rolling and then Lou boil. is just simply going to take the noodles. We're using Reem's frozen egg noodles. Because they are amazing. They are our favorite. You can make your own noodles if you want to. That's what my mama did. But then Reem's came out and said, ah, we'll do the hard work for you. We really, 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 we're not being sponsored by them, but by golly, We'll talk about a good product, and Reams is really, really good. So we enjoy them. And, and uh, you find them in the frozen food aisle, and like even in my little small town, we have them in our frozen food section. Mm -hmm. So um, at our Ruler Foods, which is kind of like a... Fine, there was I, goodness I, on that pork. I need something. I'm going to give them. No, oh, yeah, you need something more on here. Uh, Just pop that in there. Uh, and so, I mean, you could probably pretty much find these anyway, where Walmart, Ruler, JC, Kroger, that kind of thing. Y'all have JC where you're at. I think, is that an Indiana thing? I don't know. Like, I know, like, that's the only, th we only have a ruler in our, my little small town. She left me some. Look at that. Check it out right there. I was saving that for later. Oh, you saved it for me. Look at that. Yummy that yummy. is delicious. Now, Kay. what's next? I'm going to switch this over to slow cook high. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that one? That's low. That's low high. And we're going to put it on for an hour and a half. Yes. And you can check this in an hour. And again, it's however long you want to cook it, but you want to make sure, one, that your noodles have cooked through and they're tender but mm -hmm. plump. 
kind of like me, 10 years <laughs> old. But we're going to go, we're going to check it in about an hour, mm -hmm. but by definitely about an hour and a half, oh, yeah. we're going to eat real good. We're and we're going to show you in three, two, one. And uh, it has been about an hour and a half. Ish. Hour and 45 minutes because oh. somebody wouldn't get off the phone. I was promoting music, but anyway, hey, we got beef and noodles, y'all. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Give that a stir. Look at the way those noodles have plumped up. And now, these noodles, with that beef, you saw how much liquid was in there to begin with. Most of that liquid is now soaked up into those noodles, and all that means is it's going to be good, y'all. Oh my goodness. That smell. That smells just a good. Beefy smell. That reminds me of coming home from school and you'd have beef and noodles on the stove. Mama been cooking all day. And that's just the smell. I cannot wait. Mainly because I don't eat noodles anymore. You're going to so get to eat noodles. It's a huge treat. It's got to be hot. That's yeah, been on high for an hour and a half. Well, and there's steam coming off of it. So that generally means that it's hot. Don't get me. <laughs> that oh deserves a nummy nummy. That is so mm. good. So that meat that cooked for anywhere between eight and ten hours, for us it was nine. And not just only soaked up all those flavors into it, but it fell apart. You saw how easy it was to break that up with two forks, or you could do it with a standalone mixer for about 30 seconds. Your choice on how Don't many do it dishes too much, because no. then it pulverizes. Yeah, you want to make sure to do it for about 30 seconds. You want to wash it and get it to the consistency that, well, it looks like this. Oh, here it comes, folks. <laughs> that was the only way I was going to keep this plate on my side of the world. Uh -huh. But you want it just where it falls apart, just like that. You just, not great big hunks, but just bite-sized pieces. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is so good. But then... We took it a step further, kicked it up on high, which means we took those boiling juices and put it into that meat again, along with those noodles. That meat melts like butter in your mouth. And those noodles are just, they're awesome. And there's enough flavor within the soup and the consomme in there. There's plenty of flavor. Oh, Could yeah. you salt that? Absolutely. It's going to bring out a little more flavor, but really, I don't want to oversalt it because I want to taste the noodles. Yeah. I want to taste those meat. flavors that mm -hmm. soaked in the noodles and I want to, I want that beefy flavor so it's not salty whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But it's that flavorful. Is, that is, that, well that's just perfect right there. Okay. That is a good recipe. That is fantastic. That is something y'all need to that try. That is Keep coming home with me. Yeah, well I'm not excited. all of it. Some of it's going to go with me right now as you <laughs> tell them what. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. And if you would like to be a part of our crock pot loving, instant potting, traveling, cooking. all kinds of fun loving family, hit the subscribe button down below and join our crock pot family. Good grief, I can't talk. I'm just. <laughs> That ain't true. <laughs> Our crock posse family. And if you would like to know every time we post a fabulous video. Click the dingling. And whatever you do, laugh often. <laughs> Speak live. Bye. Wait until I turn it on. You're like excited. You're like, you're <laughs> like, so excited. Yay. <laughs> hey, crock posse. Aunt Lou here today. Hey, Aunt Lou here, and today. I missed the word. I'm so excited I missed the word. Every time. Nuh-uh. <laughs> the oh, I missed. I was trying to get the trash can. <laughs> That's your spit on my oh, hand. Sorry. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you like subscribe and click on the right my dear and if you think we're funny enough to send us money like the